Hello, fellow Rosarians. Thank you for joining me today. I'm with my beautiful sister-in-law, Angel, and we are at Topsail Beach, and you can see that beautiful background behind us, and hopefully you can hear us with the waves crashing. I put the mic in between us if you're wondering what this is. I'll be here for a couple of days. As I was leaving the driveway to head on vacation, a delivery driver was bringing the rose, and I thought, what better time to do an unboxing with you than here in North Carolina? So as we get started, I want to tell everybody about Gurneys. That's who we're buying from. And today's going to be fun because Angel doesn't really garden. She does a little bit of gardening, but definitely not a Rosarian. But we're going to see if we can turn her into a new Rosarian after she sees this baby. We'll see. So you know how I like to buy from small businesses. Gurneys is not a small business. You're not going to talk to the same person when you call, and they are a sister company for Spring Hill Nurseries. And when I did their unboxing a week or so ago, I'm not sure if I'm happy yet. I'm still watching the roses, but they seem to be in cold storage too long, and the canes were very dark. So I'm not sure if they're going to pop out and bloom beautifully. We'll have to follow up on that during our three-month check-in, but we'll see what Gurney's does as a sister company. The roses are all grafted on Dr. Huey. So uh, Angel's gonna open up the box and we're gonna get her perspective on the rose. What are we looking for? First, we're hoping that it is in a plastic sealed bag to keep the humidity in. So when you open it, show us then, is it all sealed up? That looks good. You can take out the whole bag. So it looks like the bag was kind of open. Um, yes, it wasn't sealed. It was and so loose. when you feel these roots, tell me, do they feel dry or moist? Yeah, they actually feel a little moist. Do yeah. they? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. yeah, there is a very little bit of moisture in here, and they're not completely dried out so that they would look more tan or orangey in color. You can actually feel there's like a little moisture on the bag. On the humid in the bag there. So when we take it out here, um, and you're looking at the roots, you're looking to see, do the roots look not knotted up? Um, do they have anything that looks like knots on the roots? And that would indicate that there was some kind of a crown gall. Is there anything that looks foreign? If you were to unbox this, that you would have concerns? Um, or does it just look like a, a normal root? It looks like a normal root to me. Excellent, it is actually. Um, if it had crown gall, you would see um, that there were growths along the roots itself, but we're not seeing any growths here. And now when you look at these canes, um, they are starting to flush out with new leaves. What we're looking for with a grade one rose is that it has three canes the size of a pencil. So when you look at this, would you say that you can count three canes the size of a pencil? Like this one? Yep. And this one? Yep. And this one? Yep. And this one is close here. It's just shy of a pencil. Um, when we're looking at it, there's a little bit of dieback on the top of it. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be black. And so that you would just cut off. Um, otherwise, it looks pretty good. Let's give it a whirl around here. I think this looks pretty good. So, Angel, this is a grade one rose. It's got nice roots. Um, I, you also feel the crown, and that's where the roots meet this main portion of it, and it's not soft. If it was soft, it would indicate that there was some kind of a rot, and it's, it's firm. Um, and other than that, the rose looks very healthy. I'll hold that up here so you can see it. Now, you might be saying to yourself, this is a pretty small rose. A lot of times when we look at the canes, they're uh, double the size, but this is a miniature rose. So when you think about this only growing one foot max, it's good size. And so what do we do with this now? We're going to put it in a bucket, and I actually brought a bucket with me on my trip. We're going to soak it for 24 hours in water, and you can soak the entire thing, not just the roots. You can put it 
all in the water and it'll be fine for 24 hours and then after 24 hours it's ready to go in the soil so let's go ahead and talk real quick about this little baby here and why do i pick a miniature something that's only going to be a foot in size i just wanted something in the front of the border instead of a big rose that's a superstar and it's three foot tall this is going to be something that's only a foot tall in the front as an accent or a supporting actor in the garden so when you say miniature rose yes. the plant is small but are the blooms also miniature yes okay. so kind of like a chrysanthemum these are going to be one inch in size and a lot of times when we buy roses they're like four inch blooms or five inch blooms and they're huge they can be really big and so they make miniature roses and miniature roses they're usually talking about the size of the bloom anything under i don't know if it's under two inches is considered a miniature but um, I call miniatures anything that's just teeny tiny, but because uh, you can have miniatures that are six foot tall rose bush, but one inch blooms. So, the color interplay in Midnight Fire's charming old fashioned flowers is sure to captivate garden visitors. The upright pointed buds open to orange toned petals with purple overlays giving the flowers a rich, smoky appearance. Yes, sounds lovely. It does. With a 40 to 70 petal count, the petite double flowers look very full. When passerby stop to admire them, they'll be rewarded with a mild tea fragrance. Dark green glossy foliage provides a perfect backdrop for the flowers, and the plants exhibit very good disease resistance. Growing 12 to 20 inches tall, Midnight Fire Miniature Rose is perfect for a container or plant several together to create an impressive low flowering hedge. Oh. So what do you think about that? That smoky appearance? Yes, it's very lovely. Yeah. Um, this has three colors in the, in the rose. It ends up being $29 per rose. And with all of our vendors, we're um, ordering five roses just for the analysis. So five roses at $29 is $145. And why do we do that across the board? Because there are incentives that are being offered from different companies for different uh, amounts. If you reach $100, shipping is free. If you buy three of one variety, there's an incentive. So in this case, it's free shipping and 10% off. So five roses at $145, and then we're going to take off the 10%. So $131 is the total right now. If we look at that total rack and stat, this is the most cost-effective vendor that we have purchased from. Right after uh, Gurney's would be Witherspoon at 135, and then the Greenhouse at 145, and then Certified at 160. So I hope that you'll consider purchasing from Gurney's if that interests you. We're gonna do a check-in in three months and check on the rose and see how it's doing. And hopefully our newbie rosarian here will order roses in the future and let us know how it goes. <laughs> thank you for including me. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.